Hey you, my name is Thomas Tomscar Ridgewell, and this video is content. It's just, it's trash. This is an absolutely trash video. My quality control, my standards, they have completely slipped. However, I used to have very high standards, especially uh, in regards to talking to me online, because I have fairly recently found a list I wrote, maybe 12, 13 years ago, of rules of how to talk to me on MSN, which was a chat program, kind of like Skype. And it also included all the penalties if you broke my rules, because I was a crazy little control freak. I'm still a bit of a control freak now, but at least I don't write lists about it. So, let's go through that list, shall we, and see just how awful I used to be. It's all gonna come into focus now. Everything is gonna start to make sense. Alright, let's get this, uh, content... Con content car? Content car? Train? That doesn't... that's not good. Uh... Content carousel. Alright, let's get this content carousel rolling. Spinning? I don't know. Nothing matters anymore. So, the list. Number one. Never add me into a joint conversation against my will. This will result in a one week block. Arrogance. <laughs> I hate him. He's not a good person. To be fair, these rules kind of hold up. Like if you add me into a group chat, I'm probably gonna either leave or mute you. So, not much has changed. Number two, never send me an email inviting me to sign up to your address book or to join a network. This will also result in a one week block. What's an address book? I guess this is just like, don't send me a LinkedIn notification, because people still do that, and I block them. Oh my god, I haven't changed. Number three, never ever add me into a conversation with someone who has been blocked or deleted. This will result in a deletion! Anyone trying to work around my rules? will be punished for. Never talk to me if you have customized letter smileys. <laughs> Using these will result in a two week block. Fuck's sake. So like, I'm basically like referring to those like glittery letters. Like, bye. If you use those, you're getting blocked. As the movie came about because I made my own custom smileys. So clearly I gave up on this rule like, a week later anyway. Number five, never ever 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 send me a chain mail. Doing this will result in a deletion. I don't care if your mother's gonna die if you don't send this to 50 people. Let her fucking die, all right? Just don't, don't put that shit on me. My mom's dead. I've killed her 50 times by ignoring chain mails. She's not dead, by the way. Love you, mom. Number six, never email me asking to be unblocked. This will result in a deletion. Draconian little fuck. Number seven, never send me the same message more than twice in a row. This will result in a one week block. You get one. You get one double post and then you're fucking out of here. So you get you get a hey, you get a second hey, but you get that third hey, you're fucked. This is definitely kind of a repeat of number three, but never act as a go-between for someone who is blocked or deleted. Telling me what they're saying or what I'm saying will result in a one, two, or three week block depending on the circumstances. This makes it seem like I have even more rules like behind the scenes for my own personal reference. This is just the cover letter for my friends. Oh fuck, I can't deal with this. Number nine, never spam me, ever. This will result in an instant deletion. What does spam include? Just anything I didn't like? Because I've already I've already covered emails, let it, like like fonts I don't like, um, triple messaging, like just anything. Just fuck off. This could have been ten things. This could have been no things. This should have been no things. Ten. Never question my judgment on. <laughs> That is a sentence. Never question my judgment on how I punish someone. This will result in the same punishment they receive. It's a miracle I didn't grow up to be like a fucking, like, killer. Like, the next step after writing this list is to go and kill a cat, right? Like, that's where you go after writing a fucking list like this. Never question my judgment on how I punish someone. This is what sociopaths write. Eleven. Almost breaking the rules, i.e. trying to be funny by sending the same message only twice will result in the same punishment as committing the actual violation would result in. You can't win! So if I deem that you've sent two messages, heaven forbid, as, as a prank, you, you've got me, you're trying to work around my rules, you're still blocked. You're blocked. 
Why did I even have MSN? I should have just deleted it. Clearly, I didn't want to fucking talk to anyone. 12. Use of unnecessary capital letters for more than one message will result in a one day block. Well, that's reasonable, I think. I think that was clearly me just trying to get rid of people using alternating caps. I must have had a lot of like 11 year olds on my chat list who thought that was a good idea. Oh man, me and Jaden Smith would not get on. Number 13, quoting lines of songs without permission will result in a one day block. So don't worry, if I've asked you what a lyric in a song is, it's fine. But if you just hit me with a song lyric, you, you are fucking, you are out of here. All right, it's done. 14, intentional one letter messages will result in a one day block. So don't you send me an O. At least these are like quite reasonable punishments. It's just one day. How was I keeping track of this? I ha I must have had an Excel like spreadsheet that was like, oh no, Timmy's blocked for five more days. Can't talk to him yet. I didn't know anyone called Timmy. 15, starting a conversation without any reason or intention to continue will result in a one day block depending on the circumstances. What are the circumstances? But either way, so you hit me up with a hey and I say hey back and you don't get right on it and ask me how my fucking day is. You're done. We're finished. You're a fake friend and I hate you. I should probably keep doing this actually. It is very annoying when people start. Actually, no, I'm the one who starts conversations and then runs away. Uh -oh. Sending a message after I have asked you not to will result in a one day block. Okay, so at least I was issuing people warnings, I assume? It's not making it better, but it's a marginal improvement. Number 17, pasting conversations without permission will result in a one day block. So don't you be snitching. Snitches get stboxes. Stblo- sti- Snitches- Snitches get boxes. Okay, we're getting into serious North Korean territory here. Mocking the rules will result in a one week block. Oh no! <laughs> Number 19, breaking a rule and getting away with it and then telling me you got away with it would make you stupid. Followed by the punishment related to the violation you committed. I'm begin I have to assume, I have to assume that I wrote this tongue in cheek. But it's 20, it's really long. I put a lot of work into this. I've also made the font small. This was a two page document. Okay, is this, is this fascism at this point? Contradicting the rules with your own rules will result in a block with a length depending on the circumstances. Again, where, what are these circumstances? I must have a backup document that explain in more detail. I must have a reference point. But yeah, you can't even make your own rules. So clearly I'd been sick of like, as a kid being like, I use fire and they're like I have anti-fire armor and I'm like well fuck you I'm gonna <laughs> make my rules my world now and finally number 21 failure to obey the rules or define them will result in a block for an untold amount of time what do you what the fuck does that mean I mean I pretty clearly specified the rules and the punishments oh Jesus Christ get off me oh okay so why why that's just the question I have here why? I want to reach back into the past, grab my like 13, 14 year old self and say, why did you make these? If you didn't want to speak to people this much, just don't, 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 just don't speak to people. Just don't have so many contacts. God damn. Here's the question. What are your rules of engagement online? What, <laughs> what are the punishments if people break your rules? Are you also a budding sociopath? How many cats did you skin today? These are, these are the big questions with Tom Skin. I can't do this anymore. What a stupid fucking video. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for wasting your time. Fuck. Tom Scott out. <laughs>